everyone welcome to the piano keys i'm so glad that you're here this tutorial was requested by my viewer grant palmer hi grant palmer and this is for the christmas song which some people call chestnuts roasting on an open fire i have the sheet music for download on my website thepianokeys.com so go check that out and see if it helps you at all in this tutorial i show you the left hand and right hand and the hands together as usual but I actually don't spend a whole lot of time practicing it with you because it's really long. So you'll have to back up over sections and just review them as you need to. I also don't count because it's played pretty freely, at least my version of it is. And if you watch the video where I just play it, you'll see that I'm not really following any sort of beat. So I just show you where the hands land together or where one hand plays by itself and then you're gonna play it however you like. Okay, so if you are ready to learn the Christmas song, keep watching. Left hand, first finger is on D. That's the one that's just below middle C. And then, then pick up your first finger and put it on F, just above. And then fifth finger will go on G, play them together. Then take your fifth finger down to E. Second on B, first on E. Keep that first finger on E, you're gonna play it again, and this time you'll add an A underneath it with your fifth finger, like that. From there, take your first finger up to A and add a D underneath it with fourth finger, like that. Remember, if uh, some of these fingers don't work for you, you just use whatever fingering you like. This is just what I used on the um, video where I played the cover. So that's why I'm using these fingerings here, okay? Let's take it from the beginning of part one. First finger on D, here we go. G and F, five and one. Go down to E, fifth finger. B, E. Keep that E and add an A underneath it. Then hop up to D and A. From here, take your fifth finger down to G, second finger on D, first finger on F. Then, pinky goes back to E, second finger on B like we did before. This time, instead of going to E, we're going to D with our first finger. And then we go back to the A and E that we did before. Go down to D, fifth finger, second on A, first on D, and then you repeat that note. Okay, so let's do it from the second half of this. So fifth finger on G, here we go. D, F, down to E, B, D, A and E. of part one. Here we go, first finger on D. This time I won't say anything, we'll just play together. Right hand fifth finger starts on the C above middle C. So five on C, third finger on A. Pick up your hand, put four on F, five on G, play them together. Then first finger on A, second on C, first finger on B. Go back to what you did in the beginning, which is C and A. You can do it again. C, A. So pick up your fifth finger and take it to G. This time you leave out the F underneath it. So just fifth finger on G, first finger on G, below that, okay? Third finger on D, second on B, and then that G you just played.
place it this time, you're going to play it again, and this time you add a C sharp on top of it with your third finger. Take up your hand, put your third finger on E, four on F, one on middle C, five on G, play them together. Third finger on F. Jump up to the C above middle C, fifth finger. A, third finger, F, second finger, pick up, fifth finger on E, first finger on F, play them together, and then fourth finger on D, fifth finger on G. Let's take it from the beginning of part one, fifth finger on C, above middle C, here we go. C, A, F, and G. A, C, B. C, A, G, G, D, B, G and C sharp. E, F, C and G, F, C, A, F, F and E, D, G. From here, first finger reaches down an octave to G, second on B, third on D. Repeat that low G you just played with your thumb, and on top of it, add B flat with your second finger, and C sharp with your third finger. So G, B flat, and C sharp. One, two, three. Then fifth finger on F, four on E. You're gonna play that E again, but put your fifth finger on it this time. Third on C, second on A, first finger on F. You'll play that F again, and on top of it, you add second finger on A flat, third finger on B. Play them together. F, A flat, and B and then fifth finger on D. Let's do it from the second half of part one. So first finger is on the G, that's below middle C. Here we go. G, B, D, G, B flat, C sharp, F, E, E again with fifth finger, C, A, flat and B, D. Let's play from the beginning of part one. Fifth finger above, uh, fifth finger is on C, above middle C. Here we go. Okay, so the right hand starts by itself, then hands play together, right, then together, right hand by itself again, together, 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 now right, and together, right hand.
of section one, pretty short. So let's do it again. This time I won't talk and we'll play really slow. Left hand, we'll play a C major chord, which is C and G. So fifth finger on the C below middle C, third finger on E, and first finger on G. Play them together. It's called the C major chord, or a C chord, or a C triad, C major triad. Those all mean the same thing. Um, pick up your hand. Now, where your fourth finger is on D, you're going to play it, and you reach your thumb up one note to A. Play them together. Now jump down, fifth finger to G, first finger to F, play them. Pick up, third finger on C, first finger on G. Your second finger should be above D. You're going to play it and add an F above it with your thumb. Keep that F, you're going to play it again, and reach your fifth finger down to G. And then fourth finger on C. Second finger on E. Let's play that much. Here we go. C chord. D and A. G and F. C and G. D and F. G and F. C and E. Now you'll play that C again, this time put your fifth finger on it, reach your thumb up to B flat and play those notes together. Take your third finger down to F sharp, play it, fifth finger on F, second on C, first on F, play that low F again with your fifth finger, and then first finger goes to E flat. Take that first finger up one note to E, second finger on C, fifth finger on F, and then play the F right above with your first finger. Okay, let's take it from the C and the B flat, five and one. F sharp, F, C, F, low F again, E flat. finger and move to G and add the octave below it with your fifth finger. Second finger on E, third on C, fifth finger on F sharp, second on B, five on E, play that B again with your second finger and then reach your thumb up to E, F fifth finger, B flat fifth finger, a flat first finger, second finger on E flat, first on G, pick up, first finger on B flat, fourth finger on E flat, then D, fifth finger, A second finger, G fourth finger, D first finger, then fifth finger on F sharp, Second on C, first on E, then take that first finger, move it down to E flat, and then F underneath with your fifth finger. Okay, 
let's go back to the G octaves. We'll take it from there. Here we go. E, C, F sharp, B, E, D, E, F, B flat, A flat, E flat, G, B flat, E flat. Now let's take it from the beginning of part two, and I won't say anything, we'll just play it together, starting with that C chord. Okay, here we go. Right hand, first finger is on middle C, then fifth finger reaches up an octave and play it. Play that middle C again, this time add above it F second finger, uh, B fifth finger, A fourth finger, pick up your hand, first finger goes to B, third finger on E flat, fifth finger on G, then F on fourth finger. Pick up your hand, you're going to play that low B again with your thumb. Add above it D, third finger, E, fourth finger. Play that E again. And play the E again, this time with your fifth finger. A, first finger. Pick up, move your first finger down to A flat. Second finger on B. And then fourth finger on D. First finger on G, third finger on C, fifth finger goes up to A, second finger on D, fifth finger on G, F, fourth finger, pick up, first finger goes to F sharp, second finger on B flat, third finger on C sharp, fifth finger on E. <laughs> Play them together. F sharp, B flat, C sharp, E. Then, fourth finger on D, first finger on G, second on A, third on C, playing together. Okay, let's do that much from the beginning. First finger on middle C. C, C, F and B, A, B, E flat and G, F, B, D and E. C, A, D and G, F sharp, B flat, C sharp, E, D, G, A, and C. Okay, from here, fifth finger plays the G above middle C, then you step it down, fourth finger on F, third on E, second finger on E flat. Now I do something here on the E flat, I switch to fourth finger. So it looks like this. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just keep the two there and then pick up, okay? So the switching of the fingers is a slightly more advanced technique. If you want to try it, go for it. It's not necessary. So let's go again from the G stepping down. F E. E flat, now 
first finger on A flat, second on C, third on D, first finger on G, second on middle C, play that C again, first finger moves up to A flat, third finger goes to C, and fourth finger is on D, D again, second on C, third on D, first on C, second on E, play them together, third finger on G, fourth on A, you're going to play that C again, middle C with your thumb, above it you will add second finger on E flat, third finger on F sharp, fifth finger on B, play them together, so you've got C, E flat, F sharp, and B, all together. Okay, now your thumb is going to play two notes, A and B, together. We've done this before in another tutorial. Um, I forget which one it was. But anyway, it's a pretty common thing for, for pianists. Because your thumb can go sideways, you can use it uh, in a slightly different way than your other fingers. So, A and B, both with the thumb. And on top of that, you're going to add an E, so together. Uh, sorry, E flat. So together, like that. Then fifth finger on A. Okay? Let's take it from the G that steps down. Here we go. G, F, E, E flat, A flat, C, D, G and C, C, A flat, C, D, D again, C, D, then C and E, G, A, C, E flat, F sharp, B, A, B, and E flat, A. Okay, we're almost at the end of section two. So that thumb moves down to A flat, second finger on E flat, and fifth finger on the A flat above. Okay, then you repeat the top two notes. Keep that second finger on E flat, first finger moves to middle C. Fifth finger to B flat, so you've got C, E flat, and B flat together. Fourth finger on A flat. Second finger on D, fifth finger on G. And then fourth finger on F. And D and G again. From here, take your first finger down to F. Second on C. Then first finger on B, fifth finger on G, step down, F, E, D. Okay? Well, let's take it from the A flat, E flat, and A flat, one, two, and five. Repeat the top notes, C, E flat, and B flat, A flat, D and G, F, D and G, F. Let's take it from the beginning of part two. We'll do the whole thing and I won't say nothing. Here we go. Okay, hands start both playing at the same time, then the right hand, and together, right, together, right, together, right, now left, right, together, right. Let's repeat that.
let's take it from the newer part. C, E in the left hand, G, C in the right hand. Here we go. together. Um, I'm going to take it really slow and I want you to play with me. Okay, stop if you need to and go back to review stuff. Here we go. finger of the left hand goes on F sharp, second on C, first on E, then the pinky moves down to F and the first finger moves down to E flat, play them together, okay, and then take that pinky down one more note to E, and then up an octave, first finger, then pinky moves down one note to D, Second finger on A, and then third on G, first on D. Okay, well, let's take it from the F sharp. Here we go. F sharp, C, E, F and E flat. down again to C, second finger on G, and then 
lift up and move a fifth finger on C, first finger on C, flat. So C and B flat. Then jump back down, third finger on F sharp, fifth finger on F, second on C, and then first finger on E. Then go back an octave, down an octave to E, fifth finger, second on B, first finger on D. Alright, let's go back to the beginning of part three, F sharp, here we go. F sharp, C, E, F and E flat, then E. goes to G and first finger goes to E. Fifth finger moves down again to F sharp and then move up to B fifth finger, A first finger. Okay, well, let's do it from the A, this last part that we just started. A, E, G, A flat and F sharp. Repeat the F sharp. G and E, F sharp, B and A. Then you take your thumb all the way down to the low E, third finger on E flat, fifth finger on D, second finger on G, five on C, second still is on G, First finger is on D, third finger crosses over to E, and then second finger on G. Let's take it from that low E. E, E flat, D, G, C, G, D. Alright, let's do section three from the beginning. Here we go on F sharp, fifth finger. First finger is on middle C, then second finger on E, fifth finger on C. Then you're going to play three notes at once, middle C uh, with your first finger, E flat with your second finger, and B with your fifth finger. And then from there you walk down on the white key, A, fourth finger, G, third finger, F, sixth, second finger. 
pick up your hand, thumb will go on the G that's below middle C, second finger on the B, third finger on the D, and fourth finger on E. So you're all around middle C, but you're not actually playing middle C. Okay, then fifth finger reach up to G, and then go back to that E, fourth finger, and then thumb on G, like it was, then move the thumb up one note to A, third finger on C, then first finger on F, second finger on B, and then fourth finger on D. So let's do that much again. C, E, C. Then three notes, C, E flat, and B. A, G, F, G, B, D, E. You can play it again, and this time you're going to add the G with it, so like that, together. But on top of that, you'll add second finger on B flat and third finger on C, so it looks like this. So F and G are both being played by your thumb, and the B flat second finger, and third finger is on D. Okay? Pick up, second finger on D, five on A, then one on D, two on F, three on G, five on C. Now you're going to play some low notes, so pick up and move. First finger on F sharp, second finger on B flat, third finger on C sharp, fourth finger on E flat. So play them all together, like that. And then fifth finger on E. And first finger on G, second on A, third on C. Pick up, first finger on A, second finger on D, fifth finger on G, play them all together. Then you step down, fourth finger on F, third finger on E. You're going to play, play that E again, but you'll put your fifth finger on it. Then first finger on F sharp, second on A flat, third on B. Then pick up that fifth finger and move it down to D. Next, third finger on middle C, then you repeat it, then you can play that middle C again with your third finger, but you're going to add some notes to it. So first finger will be on B flat, and then fourth finger will be on D. So one, three, and four, B flat, C, and D. Okay. Now you'll play that C again, but this time with your second finger. on third finger, and then C and E, one and two. G on three, A on four. Now spread your hand. Thumb will be on the B right below middle C. Second finger will be on E, and fifth finger will be on the B above. And you play that B again, and this time take the second finger and move it down to the E flat, and then fifth finger on A. So let's go from the C, a third finger. From here, thumb moves down to G, second finger on D, and fifth finger on the G above. C sharp, first finger, F, third finger, A, fifth finger, then fourth finger on G, and then move down, first finger on F, second on A, third on C. You're going to play that A, um, F again, this time the A will go down to A flat, so second finger on, on A flat, third finger moves down to B, and fifth finger goes on the D, so F. A flat, B, D. One, two, three, five. Okay. Then move your thumb down to E, second finger down to G, 
and fifth finger down to C. And then pick up your hand. You're going to play the E an octave above, then A, second finger, D, fifth finger. And you're going to roll that up like this. Okay? Let's take all of section three. Here we go, middle C, first finger. finger on C, middle C, and left hand, fifth finger on F sharp. Here we go. Together, then left, then together, then right. Then together, right, together, 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 left, together, then together again, now right, left, right, together, right, right, together, together, right. Let's take it from this last part, left hand on A, right hand on C, here we go. Okay, next section, we're almost at the end of part three. Hands together, then right. Together, right, together, 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 left, now you can do that roll, so 
there are a couple ways you can do it. You can start both hands together. So left hand plays the G while the right hand plays the E. And then right hand plays the uh, remaining two notes. Or you can do the right hand first and then land together. Whatever you want to do. What, what I do, let's see, what do I do? I start them together. So here's what I do. Okay? Let's do all of part three. Here we go. Left hand, uh, fifth finger on the C below middle C, first finger on B flat, then you do it again, and then you do it a third time. On the fourth time, you just play the C, okay? So three times going up to B flat, and on the fourth time, stay on the C, then you play the C one more time, and then pick up. Put your second finger on the G just below that C, and then third finger on F sharp, fifth finger on F, second on C, first on E. So let's take it from the beginning of part four. C, B flat, do it again, C, B flat, do it again, C, B flat, and then now just C, and then just C again. This time you're going to pick up and move down. G, F sharp, F, C, E. From here you play the F again, fifth finger. You go up to C again. Now pick up B flat, fifth finger, A flat, first finger. Then take your pinky down to E flat, second finger on B flat, first finger on D. Pick up, fifth finger on A, second on E, first on G. Play them together. From here, every single one of these notes is going to move down to the very next key, which happens to be all black keys. So we're going from all white keys, A, E, and G, to all black keys. A flat, E flat, and F sharp, or G flat, however you want to think about it. Okay? Then from here, pinky moves down one more note to G. Second finger on D. First finger on F. And then the third finger crosses over to A. And then second finger on B. So, let's take it from the first of the Fs. Okay, here we go. F, C. E, then you'll play the F again, F, C, A flat and e, uh, B flat and A flat, then E flat, C flat, D, A, E, G, move down to the black keys, and then G, D, That's all of section four. So let's play this whole part from the beginning. Here we go, starting on the C, fifth finger. Play it again. 
First finger is on middle C, second finger crosses over momentarily to B, and then rock back to C. Pick up, move your thumb up to D, second finger on F, fifth finger on B flat, play them together, okay, and then back to middle C with your, with your first finger. Step up, D, step up E. Reach your fifth finger up to A, step down, fourth finger G, third finger F sharp, fifth finger on G. Then you're going to do C, D, E, one, two, three. Then you repeat at the beginning of this section, that's C, cross over B, back to C. And then go back to D, F, and B flat. This is just like the beginning this part, now it changes. Fourth finger on A, fifth on B flat, back to fourth on A, then pick up C sharp first finger, second finger on E, B flat fifth finger, then step down, four on A, three on G, second on two, uh, second on F, and then pick up thumb on A below middle C, Second finger on D and fifth finger on G. These same three notes, you're going to jump up an octave and play them again. This time you're going to break them up. Okay, and then third finger on E. Let's take it from the beginning of part four. First finger on middle C. finger on C and on top of it you add second finger on E flat and fifth finger on A flat, fourth finger on G, fifth finger on A flat, then first finger on D, five on G, four on F, three on E flat, then low G first finger, B flat uh, second finger, and F fifth finger. Then you play that G by itself, play the B flat by itself, and then fourth finger on E flat. F fifth finger, fourth finger on E. Okay, so let's take it from the C, B, C of this, this newer part. Here we go. C, B, C. C, E flat, and A flat. G, flat, then D, G, F, E flat, G, B flat, and F, then you repeat that G, B flat, then E flat, F, E, now you're going to play a bunch of D's with your third finger, D, D, now quick D's, D, D, this time when you play that D, you're going to add a C below it with your first finger. Then play the D again by itself. Now you repeat the D but with your thumb, and then up an octave to D. So 
that's a lot of D's in a row. <laughs> Let's do all the D's, starting with third finger. Here we go. Third, third, two quicks. Now add the C below by itself, and then with first finger, then up an octave. From here, you're going to play a chord that you're going to roll up again. So F, A flat, B, E. One, two, three, five. And you just gently play one note at a time starting from the bottom. Okay, it doesn't need to be super fast or anything like that. Just like that. Alright, let's do the entire part four. Here we go. Middle C, first finger. starts by itself, C, B, C, there's a left hand joint, left, right, together, right, together, left, then right, together. Let's do that much again. So right hand by itself. second time that the C, B, C happens.
left hand, fifth finger goes on F sharp, second on middle C, first finger on E. Then you take your fifth finger, move it down one note to F, and take your first finger, move it down one note to E flat, play them together. Then you move both fingers down again, remember, down is that way, and you're going to go to the next white keys, E and D. Okay? Your second finger should be near A. We're going to play that. Pick up your second finger, move it down to E. Third finger on E flat. Fourth finger on A flat. You will have to pick up and move. Fifth finger on G. Second on D. First on F. Third finger crosses over to B flat. And then you're going to keep going. C on, uh, second finger on C, first finger on D, and then first finger picks up, moves to E, pinky adds uh, F sharp to it. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of talking. I'm going to do it again from the beginning of part five with no talking. Here we go, F sharp, fifth finger. to those A E's, the repeated E, so you see how it all fits together. Here we go. A Second finger on D, first finger on D. 
first finger on E and you're going to roll those up. Let's do part five from the beginning. Here we go, F sharp. Third finger is on the C above middle C. Then you take your fifth finger to the C an octave above that. Now you're gonna play three notes. First finger on C, second finger on E flat, third finger on B, fourth finger on A, and again you'll play three notes. A flat first finger, D second finger, G fifth finger. Then fourth finger on F. And then three notes again, G, first finger, B, second finger, E, fifth finger. Three on C, fifth finger on E, first on G. Then pick up, move your first finger to F sharp, C, third finger, D, fourth finger, first finger on F sharp. Let's play that much. C, go up an octave, fifth finger, you have three notes, step down, three notes, step down, three notes, C, E, G, F sharp, C, E, F sharp. From here, move your thumb down one note to F, and on top of it, you're going to play Second finger on B flat, third finger on C. Okay? And then take your thumb, put it on B flat, add the D above, second finger. Five on A, then step down, four on G, three on F. Now pick up, first finger is on F sharp, second finger on B flat, third on C, fifth on E. And then step down, fourth finger. Fifth finger on C, first on middle C, three on G, one on D, two on E. Let's take it from the F, B flat, and C, one, two, and three. Put your third finger on D, second on C, you'll repeat it, two Ds, third finger, back to C, second finger, step up, D, third, E, fourth, pick up, move your third finger to G, step up, A, fourth finger, now you're going to roll up, middle C, first finger, E, second finger, and B, fifth finger. Okay, pick up your pinky, move it up one note to C, 
Third finger on A. B, fourth finger. D, second. E, third. G, fifth. And then fourth finger on C. Go back and play that C and A again. F3. Now come back, and this time you're going to wait uh, to play the B later. You're playing D, E, and G. Two, three, and five. Then the B. Third on D. Second on C sharp. And now here's that arpeggio going up. First finger on G. Second on B flat. Third on C sharp. Fifth on E. Lift and move up to the high G. First finger. Third finger on C sharp. Fifth finger on E. Okay. Let's do it from the D, third finger, going to those repeated Cs. Here we go. down to near middle C, put your third finger on the D, fourth on E, now fifth finger on E, three on C, two on A, one on F. You're going to play that F again and on top of it you're going to add A flat second finger and B third finger. Then fifth finger on D. Now hop up. First finger on C, third finger on E, repeat it, repeat it, then do that again. Do you recognize that tune? That's Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, that's what that is, right? <laughs> so we play. Then you play that C and E one more time. Then E and G, three and five. Take 1 and 3 down to A and C, 2 and 4 to B and D, now you're going to do the roll up, first finger on G, second finger on D, third finger on C, fifth finger on E, like that, okay? So let's go from the beginning of part 5, here we go, third finger on C above middle C. Alright, here we go. Both hands start at the uh, same time. Then left. Then right. Together. Right. Together. Right. Together. Right. Lift up the left hand. Together.
let's do that march again, starting at the beginning of part five. F sharp, left hand, fifth finger, right hand, C, third finger. starts on A. Here we go.
That was my arrangement of the Christmas song. Did you like the video? Click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, you can do that now. Um, let me know what you're doing in the comment section here or on Facebook, The Piano Key, no S. I'm also on Instagram, The Piano Keys, TPK. I'm gonna start doing, I think, Facebook Live. So you might wanna go like my page so you'll get updates on that, okay? Hope you have fun learning this beautiful song and happy holidays. I'll see you soon, bye.